Hello, hi, uh, I'm Duke Anderson. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple monologues for you. One from uh, Henry VI, part two. And um, I think I'm gonna do some school for scandal after that. All right. <clears throat> oh, war, thou son of hell. Whom angry heavens do make their minister throw in the frozen bosoms of our part, hot coals of vengeance! Let no soldier fly! He that is truly delicate to war hath no self love, nor he that loves himself hath not essentially but by circumstance the name of valor. Oh, let the vile world end! And the premise it flames of the last day knit earth and heaven together. Was thou ordained, dear father, to lose thy youth in peace and to achieve the silver livery of advice and age, and in thy reverence and thy chair days, thus to die in ruffian battle? Even at this sight, my heart is turned to stone. And while tis mine, it shall be stony. York not our old men spares, no more will I their babes. Tears virginal shall be to me, even as the dew to fire and beauty. <laughs> that the tyrant oft reclaims shall to my flaming wrath be oil and flax. Meet I an infant of the house of York, into as many gobbets will I cut it as wild Medea young Apsotus did. In cruelty will I seek out my fame. Hell and the devil there! There I told you so, I told you so! But she thrives in my absence. Dancing! Oh, but her feelings have been in opposition with mine. I, I, I have been anxious, silent, pensive, sedentary. My days have been hours of care. My nights of watchfulness. She has been all spirit, laugh, song, dance. Oh, damned, damned levity. Now disappointment on her. Country dances, jigs, and reels. Am I to blame now? A minuet I could have forgiven. I said I should not have regarded a minuet, but country dances. Soon, had she made one in a cotillion, I believe I could have forgiven even that. But to be monkey led for a night, to run the gauntlet through a string of amorous palming puppies, to, to show paces like a managed filly, oh Jack. There never can be but one man in the world with whom a truly modest and delicate woman ought to pair with in a country dance. And even then, the rest of the couple should be her great uncles and aunts. If there be but one vicious mind in the set to spread like a contagion, the action of their pulse beats to the lascivious movement of the jig. Their quivering, warm-breathed sighs impregnate the very air. The atmosphere becomes electrical to love, and each amorous spark darts through every link of the chain. <sighs> I must leave you. I own I am somewhat flurried. Oh, and that confounded Luby has perceived it. <laughs> Thank you very much.